Hi there, this is John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. Welcome to the program on YouTube. I want to talk about marketing today. Before I do, I'll just remind you that you can visit our website if you need more tips, tools and ideas in this unusual commercial property market. The website for us is commercial-realestate-training.com. So in today's program, I want to talk about marketing because marketing is now more important than ever before. There are plenty of things that you should be doing every day, more so than before, because the market has changed. Everything we did last year or last month is now different. And of course, the people haven't gone away, nor have the properties. There are situations of leasing and also sales, situations that we can tap into when it comes to brokerage. It's just a matter of how we look at it, what we do, and how we connect into people in an ongoing way. In fact, people now should be at the top of your list every day in what you do. In brokerage. So let's go a bit further and let's look at this topic all about marketing and I'll give you some ideas for marketing in this unusual and very special marketplace. So you need a marketing plan in brokerage, of course you do, always, but right now marketing is the most important thing that you do. So how can you attract more business through marketing? What can you do with your marketing? Of course, you have online activities that you can put in play, and then you have some physical face-to-face -face and or telephone call type marketing activities. Meetings are also important, but in saying that, there is some issues, of course, with social distancing and having meetings with people. You have to follow the rules of your location, rightfully so, given that there is this virus problem around the world. So you need to connect with the people, find the people, connect with them. The telephone's good for that. Maybe you can't meet with them. Maybe you're holding your inspections a bit differently with commercial real estate. In saying that though, you just need a different system. That's it. So let's look at marketing to boost your business in this unusual and ongoing property cycle. This is a reset. That is an amazing opportunity for the agents that get active. A reset. There'll be business coming out of the market now that wasn't there before. And of course, the business that was there before is now going to decline. So there are different reasons for people to go to the market now in leasing and in sales. And you have to tap into the new people with the new reasons of going to market. And you should have the tools of choice to make that happen. Let's look at it. So commercial real estate. As a broker or an agent, you need a marketing plan for yourself if you want to succeed with listings and commissions. Of course, that's a given. But what are you doing today? How can you be different with your marketing? How you do that will depend on several things, including your property speciality, your customer types, your future opportunity in your location, your town or city. What's going on in your town or city? What are the owners thinking? What are the landlords and the business owners thinking? There's different leverage points there. There's different activities that need addressing. And of course, the investors and the business owners have different motivations today. In saying that, talk to the people and put yourself in the local area when it comes to businesses, properties and investors. So talking to the people, the best way to do that right now is the telephone book, the online yellow pages and your database. And somewhere in there is your telephone contact processes for at least half of your business day. So going further, questions. Why do all of this? The marketing plan that you create takes over your brokerage momentum. And over time, that marketing plan can be shaped and honed. Of course, the I said earlier that the marketing that we do today is different. Absolutely. So today, your marketing plan involves a different approach, different messages, different questions, different people even, who weren't coming to the market before. So you've got to find them. That's the idea. Personal opportunity then evolves for you. And of course, you are the solution service for the clients that you work for and the business owners and the investors who can be clients for you. So get active, change your activity, change your momentum, change your thoughts. Consistency and targeted actions will help you get better results in brokerage. Consistency is so important right now. It's not just an hour a day making phone calls. It's half a day, which is three or four hours, half a whole day of your business activity it should be spent on the phone, talking to lots of people with lots of momentum. If you want to win in this game, that's what you do right now. So 
what is your marketing plan given that I've mentioned a good number of things here for you to think about what's your marketing plan the telephone absolutely so some more questions before saying too much here what is an opportunity for you as a broker or an agent today what does an opportunity look like who is it with who is it for what do they require when you understand that you can actually do more with your marketing activities so understand what this opportunity looks like and where it comes from and where it comes from today is probably different than where it came from last week or last month or last year there are people playing in the market now and soon who weren't in the market before why is that because they have to or they want to certainly there are some cashed up people as well who want to buy because they can see bargains on the horizon good idea and there are business owners who have to sell and do a sales and leaseback because they need cash that's understandable in saying all of that there's also some business owners who are highly successful in this unusual market their business segments are very very active so consider that what are those segments well transport and logistics is one of those to start with so what types of new business do you believe is a real opportunity for you over time and in this new cycle answer the questions for yourself so determine your answers in the categories as the categories I provide you now the first category is sales of investment property or owner occupied buildings there are some decisions with this of course and perhaps you should also consider development land as part of that although development might be off the boil for a bit but if you can find a good piece of vacant land which could be a development in the future keep an eye on it so going back to sales of investment property or owner occupied buildings some people right now have to sell they may not want to sell sure prices are reducing i know that but that is not our problem prices are derived from the market prices are set from the buyers and the sellers who have to make a decision in the market we are there as the service solution to bring about the result given the best market circumstances in this particular market so going a bit further look at this topic here leasing of offices retail and industrial properties the property types will determine the rents and the stock availability now what's going on with leasing well if I was a betting person which I'm not I would say that the leasing of offices will change dramatically yes there'll be plenty of vacancies for a while I get that but when you think about it offices now will be impacted by the ability of people to do business and meet with people remotely across the internet what does that mean it means higher vacancy factors for office space so within that it means the better buildings the higher quality buildings will still be desirable and particularly for those tenants who can now upgrade because tenants know and business owners know that the rents are coming down so that's good for them are they going to upgrade if they can afford it absolutely will they get a higher quality tenancy at a lesser rental absolutely so think about your leasing now you're focusing on the successful businesses and those that want to upgrade into better premises in this market when the bargains are there and how long are the bargains going to be there for well perhaps six months or 12 months I don't know but they're there so let's look at retail is retail going to be impacted by vacancies yes and it's already happening so if you're leasing shops and retail properties there are still businesses that are quite active in retail and some that are struggling considerably so you have to take that into account and think about where you can help what you can do what the landlords need guidance with when it comes to tenant retention and also leasing opportunities for the future make no mistake the landlords are going through a lot of pain here but also the business owners are so you're sitting in the middle there of talking to people and making it all work for all of those people bring people together the landlords the tenants help the landlord understand the business owner's situation help the business owner with their situation match into a property that they can afford I said earlier we don't determine prices we also don't determine rents so don't worry about that you're just the catalyst of change you're the professional let's go further choose the channels of property that will drive leasing inquiry and churn from the local area and the businesses that's what you need to do the precincts 
So another category to think about, property management appointments. They are quite active now and will be more in the future as landlords struggle with the whole balance of managing their asset, keeping it occupied, trying to make tenancy occupancy work and keeping the whole thing in balance. So you can now feed the property management division with lots of leads and opportunities from the people that you're talking with. Ask the question. Perhaps you don't want to work in property management, I get that, because it's very special and very different, but you will have people in your team who can help with that. So your idea here is property management services help you retain your clients for the longer term. Going a bit further, the property types that you work in are important. Choose your property types to your specialization and your acquired property knowledge. Of course, you cannot and should not specialize in everything everywhere. What do you do in this market? You drill down into certain property types and certain locations, and then you make plenty of contact into property owners and occupants in that targeted group. And I go back to my comment earlier, targeted comment, targeted contact, targeted people is now the way to go. That's the message. Get started, get sorted, and get your personal marketing activities underway. So, a fact. When you know these things, you can start to build your marketing plan. That's all about knowing the people, knowing the properties, matching yourself into the circumstances in this unusual property market. Get started, get active, get very deep on the telephone all through the remainder of this year. So this is John Highman. Thank you for listening. This is a short video for my friends in commercial real estate around the world. Of course, you can visit our website and should do so to get plenty of tips, tools and ideas in commercial real estate. The website is commercial-realestate-training.com. This is John Highman signing off for now. I'll catch you again very soon. And before you go, subscribe to this channel to get more videos to help you in commercial real estate brokerage in this unusual property market. Catch you soon.